The Lucker Story, about a comfort blanket, written and created by brother and sister Christopher and Joy Cox. The Lucker Story, about a comfort blanket, written and created by brother and sister Christopher and Joy Cox. Shh, do you want to know a secret? I'm Jenny's comfort blanket. She's on the next page. I'm going to surprise her and help her with all the change that's going on in her life. She doesn't like change. How do you feel about change? Maybe you'd like me to help you too. Hurry up, Jenny. The removal van will be here any minute, said Jenny's mum. Jenny just sighed and clung on to Mr Lecker. She didn't want to move to a new house. She didn't like change. Jenny looked around her room. All her favourite toys and books had been packed away into boxes. She started to cry. At least I have Mr Lucker, she thought. Mr Lucker was Jenny's special blanket. She had him forever. He was red and silky and lovely to touch. So Jenny took him everywhere with her. He always made Jenny feel better. Just then, Jenny heard a jingling, jangling sound coming from outside her bedroom door. It was Bigum, her dog. He must have known Jenny was feeling sad. Suddenly, Bigum jumped up onto Jenny's bed and started licking her face. Thanks for cheering me up, Bigum, said Jenny. With Bigum and Mr Lucker beside her, Jenny knew she'd be okay. Before long, the rest of Jenny's special things were packed into cardboard boxes and loaded into the back of the removal lorry. Jenny's mum said not to worry and that there would be lots of children to play with at the new house and Bigham would find some new doggy friends and perhaps even a doggy girlfriend. <laughs> Dad laughed. Jenny much preferred animals and Mr Lucker, of course, to people. Jenny clung tightly to Mr Lucker as they set off on the long journey to their new house. It was dark by the time they arrived. Jenny noticed that their new house looked quite old. There were wooden beams that crisscrossed the ceilings and unusual diamond shapes on the windows. Dad told Jenny that the house used to be owned by a magician and this made Jenny feel quite excited. When Jenny peeped through the doorway of her new bedroom, she discovered that the magician had left behind a large wooden four-poster bed that had the initial J carved into the headboard. How strange, thought Jenny, as she felt butterflies begin to flutter around inside her tummy. An old mysterious house, a magician's bed. Perhaps moving to a new house wasn't going to be so bad after all. After such a long day, Jenny and Mr Lucker quickly drifted off to sleep. When Jenny awoke, Mr Lucker was in his usual place, tucked safely under her pillow, and Bigham was curled up in his own bed in the corner of the room. Jenny suddenly felt scared in these unfamiliar surroundings, and she pulled Mr Lucker close for comfort. What do you think of this then, Mr Lucker? asked Jenny. But Mr Lucker didn't say anything. I wish you could talk, thought Jenny. Jenny got out of bed and looked around the room. It was quite bare except for the curious bed. When Jenny looked closely, she noticed there were strange wooden carvings along each of the four posts. It looked magnificent. It felt bewitching. And there certainly seemed to be something magical about it. Feeling slightly nervous, Jenny stood on the bed and started to pull the curtains closed around her, one by one. And as she pulled across the final curtain, the strangest thing happened. The old bed started to creak and shake, and a gust of wind started to blow, whooshing around the old wooden bed like a hurricane. In the centre of the commotion was what looked like a blaze of red whipping around and around as though something had been caught in the wind. Naturally, Jenny reached under her pillow for Mr Lucker, 
but he was gone. Whatever is happening, thought Jenny. And where is Mr Lucker? Feeling frightened, Jenny closed her eyes. Slowly, the whooshing noise died down and the bed began to settle. Feeling brave now that the noise had stopped, Jenny opened her eyes. And there before her stood a familiar silky red figure with a smiling face and outstretched arms. Mr Lucker, squealed Jenny. You really are real.